Hello uh, witches, wizards and muggles. Um, I posted a few videos about uh, a prop that I make, uh, the Philosopher's Stone. I thought I'd start um, adding to it. Uh, I was going to do some making, but in the true spirit of uh, British summer, it's uh, pouring with rain. So I thought I would introduce something that I've started on. Uh, it's a project of a snake cosplay. My uh, son, uh, who seven wanted to do Harry Potter um, at the time I was uh, doing full Star Wars um, cosplay uh, I had about two and a half weeks to build a Snape cosplay and we tried it out at our first Comic Con and it went well in, in that I enjoyed doing it um, not everything was was uh, how I liked it um, but uh, it's made encouraged me to uh, add, add to it so some of the things I've been uh, doing, and I'll do a whistle stop tour, uh, just for the purpose of um, the length of video. Uh, I've made my own uh, snake wand, you probably can't see any detail, it's made out of a knitting needle. Uh, I tried to get the size and some of the um, detail on it. Uh, it was a great wand at the time, it encouraged me to buy this online it's a noble collection snape wand i'm not going to detail go into too much detail but uh as you can see it's pretty nice now interestingly this cost me uh about 70 p in materials to make and about uh, two hours an hour and a half two hours in in time to make this uh cost 30 pounds and I purchased it in a click of a button and it arrived the following day. I've done a test with it, just holding the two for a couple of minutes. And what I found is, if I was to walk around holding this all day, as Snape versus this thing, which weighs nothing, um, I've got a feeling my arm is going to feel pretty tired. It's quite heavy, it's very well made. So even though I've got this lovely noble collection Snape wand, I probably will still use my the one I've made and the other reason is uh, sometimes in photo shoots uh, children wanted to hold it and uh, it got dropped a couple of times I would uh, hate for that to happen so that's the difference between I think a collector and a, and a cosplayer always thinking about how your props are going to be used another thing I'm adding to my uh, snake costume is this uh, this was uh, an idea that I was given by someone on Facebook. It is an advanced potion makings book. You can print this for free off of Instructables and you even get a few test sheets. Uh, what I'm also doing is sticking all the pages together so I can hollow it out and make it into a a box or something for my mobile phone. Though in saying that, I went to a car boot sale and bought this for 50p, which is a fake book of lovely Paris. But uh, what I am going to try and do is turn this into another prop that I can hold. I can imagine this being a very good um, book about creatures forget the name, it's the furry one with teeth, that would be uh, a lovely one, or just a, an advanced potions making prop. The other parts of my uh, Snape uh, cosplay are going to be, obviously, I've been trying to source the right makeup and doing some tests with that. What I've been advised is to have is uh, two things, uh, a fixing mist for my makeup, for a cosplayer you can be out all day and you may not get a chance to uh, alter your makeup or improve it or um, repair it so this I've been told is a, is a must I haven't got to, a chance to use it yet the other thing I have is uh, for my wig is a fixing spray when I took some photos which I'll put at the end I um, the wind <laughs> was in my face so one of the photos is probably looks too amusing to be Snape but uh, I um, enjoyed doing that so a fixing spray the other th comments I've had when I posted my 
photo is that my the hair is too shiny so I'm going to look into how I might be able to um, dull that uh, I think the word greasy was used as uh, to describe Snape's hair. I do have a few wigs. One that I, I made um, from a standard black long-haired wig. I did some shaving. And one that I purchased. I'll, I'll talk about the Snape wig, I think, in another video because I was so impressed with this um, from eBay that I bought another one. And the second one that I bought went to half price. So I've got two. And I think as a cosplayer, if there's something... That you that really makes your costume work um, by a second, especially if it's if it's half the price. So I've got this as a reserve, and I've got my other wig uh, upstairs. What other things? Um, right, I don't know about yourself, but I cosplay in Britain, so I think what's really handy uh, to keep your robes and wig dry. No one likes a soggy wizard. Uh, is uh, an umbrella. What I like about this one is uh, I got this in a charity shop for two pounds. It's small, it's light, and I don't want seven years of bad luck, so I won't put it up. It folds down beautifully, and I can kind of imagine if, if Snape was to go to a Comic Con uh, and it was raining in London, this is the kind of one he would use. The other umbrella, which I definitely think I can see Snape using, though um, probably would have to come out on special occasions, is, is this. It is a beautiful made uh, umbrella. Again, I got this from a charity shop for £3. I love the handle. And I can picture Snape just using this. I won't open it up fully, but... Um, it is a lovely umbrella. I've used umbrellas in cosplays before. I've done um, Sith Lords and I combined a, I think you can buy them now. Uh, this was about four years ago. Uh, you can buy uh, a Sabre Brolly. So it was not only a, a nice brolly, but uh, it was the handle was in the shape of a lightsaber. Uh, so I could both fight Jedi and keep dry at the same time. Moving on. Something that I've been working on is this. Now, um, if I think about Snape going out and about, he is a potions master. Um, I'm sure he would like to use a potions bag. I was lucky enough to buy this at a car boot sale. Um, the equivalent in America is a yard sale for two pounds. Now, the trouble with this bag was it was bright cherry red. So after some priming and uh, some black gloss spray and matte spray to kind of get a rub look here, a uh, finishing spray, I've managed to produce this. And what I like about this makeup bag is uh, it's got a nice pouch, zip pouch for the mobile phone and money, and it's got this little ray of rack so I can start putting what I've been making are uh, my potions. So, oh, and pearls. The other thing I found for 10 pence was uh, this. It was a cannon off of a little um, adventure game. Uh, and what I thought I would do is convert it into some sort of uh, dragon's breath uh, weapon or for lighting your cauldron. Um, so I was going to uh, paint all that up. I mean, it's, it's pretty nice as it is. I just need to do some work on it and tweak some of the bits cut off some edging, um, but I thought that would be a nice little prop. The other thing I have in here, obviously, my quill, and the other prop that I've been working on, which is my Philosopher's Stone. Um, it shuts very nicely, I can even lock it, so in terms of safety, leaving it in a cloakroom locked, uh, a perfect lock bag, wouldn't want any muggles or anyone getting hands on those potions. Finally to the costume. So, I mean, I was fortunate enough to already own a pair of trousers, a pair of flat squared shoes, um, and a shirt which fits rather nicely. They were all from my wedding. So I'm a great believer in using what you've got already. Don't buy four pairs of shoes when you've got one pair of shoes that will tick the box. Um, I'm all about sourcing, saving money, giving to charity, reusing anything that should, will be going to a landfill or is just going to be chucked out. If you can find a use for it and include it into your cosplay, brilliant. Um, Snape, I've been very fortunate 
and unfortunately the light, lighting isn't very good but I do I will put some photos at the end I was in a charity shop about a, a week before I was due to to cosplay Snape when I came across this jacket now there's not much very Snape like about I try and catch the buttons this but what I liked is that the other side hid the buttons so with a bit of well, a lot of uh, time making these buttons from a pack that um, you can just clip material over. I was able to sew one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten buttons, and then sewing didn't really make them nice and tight on the on the Snape costume. They are flush, so I cheated and used a bit of hot glue, which saved some time because I only had about a week to go, and uh, Alan Rickman really likes buttons on Snape's costume as you can see here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine up there. I stopped at nine just through a bit of sheer boredom really. Hopefully I did the same here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, I didn't sew these, I just hot glued and from some test runs and a full day cosplaying with a seven year old and a two year old kind of running around me, they all stayed on. What I will say is that I've made several more of the larger and smaller buttons. So if one was to come off, you go to a cosplay um, repair section of the Comic-Con and uh, they will hot glue on any extras. What I also did is tapered in the seam because I like uh, Snape's jacket in that it opens like that at the bottom. and. Uh, this uh, was made in Italy and is um, quite heavy and it's a wool cashmere blend um, but I got that and I was able to, oh also I, I sewed some poppers at the top to really pull it in nice and tight. So that uh, jacket was a grand total of £5 and I have to say I'm not going to change it. I'm, um, the collars go up nice and high and are square, you probably see from the photos. I tried to source a cravat um, from eBay. They, the majority of them are shiny. Uh, I didn't want shiny. I thought he's more of a cotton blend. So with a piece of material and a bit of sewing, I managed to make this for about a pound, which folds very nicely around my neck and goes under. It doesn't trail down too far, so I won't overheat as much as those other cravats. Anything else? The robe. Now the robe. I've cheated a bit. So the robe I bought from eBay, it is not a full length robe um, down to the floor. I think trying to go through a day of it scuffing on the floor, sitting down, um, going through turnstiles um, would um, take quite a toll on it. Um, what I also have done is split the seam and tapered it so it can show off those buttons um, when performing spells or posing, um, striking a snape pose. So that's my snape build to date. I've got some extra props I'm going to make but I'm just mindful of the time and I'd like to include some photos at the end of this. So that's my snape costume. I hope you like the pictures at the end to see it all pulled together. I will um, also do uh, another video after this of just some other things that I didn't get to show you and um, Enjoy cosplaying and I hope you've enjoyed this video.